Greetings, dear thinkers, dreamers, and seekers of wisdom. Today, we embark on an exploration of time's enigmatic tapestry, where past, present, and future intertwine in a dance of cosmic complexity. We delve into the fascinating world of retrocausality, a realm where time's arrow may not always point forward, and tomorrow's dawn may leave footprints on yesterday's dusk. This journey demands of us an open mind, as we challenge the deeply ingrained notion of linear time, stepping into the heart of paradox itself. The stage is set, the curtains draw open, and we find ourselves facing the perplexing question, can the future influence the past? Is it within the realm of possibility that our tomorrows might reach back and reshape our yesterdays? A question that dares to challenge our understanding of time, causality, and even reality itself. We traditionally perceive time as a linear progression, where cause precedes effect, a basic assumption that forms the core of our understanding of the physical world. However, in the realm of quantum mechanics, this assumption is not so clear-cut. Here, particles can exist in multiple states simultaneously, only crystallizing into one reality upon being observed. It's a concept known as superposition, and it's just the beginning of our journey into the quantum realm's peculiarities. The idea of retrocausality takes this concept a step further. It suggests that an event in the future can cause an event in the past. Thus, the act of observing a particle in the present could influence its state in the past. This is not merely a philosophical thought exercise, but a concept that arises from the equations of quantum mechanics themselves. Voices from the past and present have pondered this question, each adding their unique perspectives to the mix. Famous physicist John Wheeler proposed the idea of a delayed choice experiment, where the decision made in the present could affect the past behavior of a particle. More recently, physicist Yakir Aharonov introduced the concept of time symmetry in quantum mechanics, further suggesting the possibility of retrocausality. The philosophical implications of retrocausality are profound. If the future can influence the past, then it challenges our most basic assumptions about causality and free will. Nobel laureate Ilya Prigogine argued that time's arrow points forward due to the increase of entropy or disorder, an idea rooted in the second law of thermodynamics. But could the quantum realm, with its peculiarities, offer a different narrative? Cultural reflections of retrocausality abound in the world of art and literature. The genre of science fiction in particular has exploited this concept to its fullest. Books like Kurt Vonnegut's Slaughterhouse-Five and films like Christopher Nolan's Tenet play around with the idea of time's arrow pointing both ways, offering compelling narratives that captivate audiences. In the world of music, the experimental band Tool has tracks where lyrics and melodies appear to have a retrocausal structure, suggesting a relationship between past, present, and future that is far from linear. These cultural expressions serve as a testament to how deeply this concept has permeated our collective psyche. Contemporary discussions on retrocausality often revolve around its implications for our understanding of the universe. Some physicists argue that embracing retrocausality could resolve some of the paradoxes in quantum mechanics, while others maintain that it introduces more problems than it solves. Moreover, the question of whether retrocausality allows for time travel or changes in history remains a heated debate. If the future can influence the past, could we theoretically alter past events? Or does the concept merely suggest a different understanding of causality without implying any practical ability to change history. The relevance of this discussion extends beyond the realms of physics and philosophy. As we advance in our understanding of the universe, the concept of retrocausality may have profound implications for our understanding of time, consciousness, and reality itself. Bringing our exploration full circle, we return to the profound realization that our understanding of the universe is ever-evolving. Retrocausality, with its challenge to our conventional wisdom, serves as a stark reminder of the mysteries that await our discovery. I extend my heartfelt gratitude to each one of you for joining this exploration. Your engagement and curiosity 
are the lifeblood of these discussions, and I am deeply humbled by your intellectual participation. As we part ways today, I invite you to ponder further on this concept. How does the idea of retrocausality challenge your understanding of time and causality? What would it mean for our perception of reality, if the future could indeed influence the past? How would it reshape our understanding of free will and destiny? Until we meet again, let the mysteries of the universe fuel your curiosity, and may each dawn bring new insights and revelations on your intellectual journey. Remember, the greatest journeys often begin with the most profound questions. Remain open to the possibilities, and never cease to question the world around you. Until our next philosophical exploration, keep thinking, keep questioning, and keep growing.